Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best Thunderbolt docks on the market today, specifically to use with your M1 Mac. As you know, if you have the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air, they only give you two ports now on that computer, which is hardly enough to run all of the peripherals that you're undoubtedly going to be using um, to take full advantage of that M1 chip. So today we're going to dive into all these three, plus a little bonus um, adapter you're going to need to buy to take full advantage of your Mac. So stick around. Welcome back. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about three different docks that I've found on the market. I've tested several, and these are the three best ones that I can find on the market today, specifically for use for an M1 Mac. We're gonna start off over here with the OWC Hub, they call it. This is the first one to come on the market that was specifically marketed for an M1 Mac. And the reason for that is a, a true Thunderbolt 4 um, dock or, or hub, they call it, and it gives you a little bit of an expansion to the built-in two ports. So what this hub is going to give you, again, this is by OWC, um, it gives you three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the front side of the dock, um, and these are actually backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3. It gives you a Kensington lock, a power, um, so it does have its own power supply that will deliver 90 watts of charging, so it will charge up your laptop. Um, on the other side, you have the Thunderbolt port to plug into the laptop itself um, or your Mac Mini, and then a standard USB 3.2 10 gigahertz port on this one. And that's all this gives you. So if you're looking for a little bit of an expansion, maybe you're running an external hard drive, maybe you're running a monitor, a 4K monitor through it, um, you can do that plus have an extra port to spare. The next one that I have is the OWC Thunderbolt dock. This just came out. It's available for pre-order. It takes about two weeks to a month to fulfill. So if you want this one, I'll leave a description um, in the video to, to click on it and do a pre-order on it. But this dock gives you the three Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 ports on the back. So three of those, it does also provide its own power supply, which will transfer 90 watts of power to your computer. Um, it gives you an ethernet adapter, which is great because you're definitely gonna want that most likely, if, especially if you're running those Macs and, and docking it to your home system. Um, also, it comes with three USB 3.2 um, ports that are 10 gigabytes each. Um, so this will complete the front side on the back of it. It does give you an SD card slot reader, a standard USB 2.0, a combined microphone and headphone port, headphone port, and of course another Thunderbolt port. And this is the one that you plug into your computer. So when you plug in the dock, it's going to give you more than, more than enough ports that you probably need. So this dock is going to be um, probably the one you're going to need to, especially if you bought this on Mac and you're using it for video editing, photo editing, you probably have enough peripherals you're going to need this guy. Now, also on the market, it is actually this Kensington dock came out and actually beat the OWC dock to the market. And that's why I got this one first. This is the SD5700T Thunderbolt dock by Kensington. This gives you more, more kind of miraculously similar um, ports to the OWC. It's like they've copied each other. And I, I'm sure if we dig into it, open them up, I'm sure the internals look the same. But this also is going to give you three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back, power adapter, transfers 90 watts of power to your computer, Ethernet, as well as three of those USB 3 ports. On the front side of it is an SD card reader, again, a, a USB 2.0, combined headphone and, micro, headphone and microphone port, and another Thunderbolt port here to plug into your computer. A couple of lights that show you if it's on and it's transferring power, but essentially they are completely identical, both front and back. So um, I'm not sure how these came to market differently, but one is displayed as a Kensington, one is advertised as OWC, but these are the same. The difference is in price. At the time of purchase, the Kensington uh, um, dock ran about $75 more than the OWC dock. So definitely worth the cost savings to buy the OWC, um, even if you have to do a pre-order. The nice thing about the Kensington is they're available on Amazon. You can buy them today, get it shipped to your house right away. This is a little bit on a back order, but you definitely save some money with that. So these are the best three docks I can find on the market. There's a ton of docks out there that will give you some power, but I have had a really hard time finding a Thunderbolt port or a Thunderbolt dock that gave you more than just one Thunderbolt port. So I like how all of these give you three plus the expansion of additional ports on these two here. One other thing, and I talked to you about that bonus adapter you're going to need to buy, is if you're running uh, your M1 MacBook Air MacBook Pro, you've already noticed that you could only plug in one external monitor. So although the M1 chip will handle 
two monitors, it actually counts the internal display as a monitor, even if your computer is closed. So if you close up your laptop, it's still going to only allow you to run one extra monitor. If you have a Mac Mini, you can run two extra monitors because there isn't an internal display. So in order to run actually two monitors with your laptop closed up and, and like a regular desktop, you need to buy a display link adapter. That will is That's a great workaround to get power to that extra monitor. So this is a StarTac um, display link 4K plug and play device. Um, it uses a USB 3.0 port. You plug it in and then you can have an HDMI out to your second monitor. So I'm running a huge widescreen display that I'm running off of a Thunderbolt connector right to the dock. And then my other monitor is plugged in by HDMI to this guy, which then will go to one of these docks here because it uses a standard uh, USB adapter. So um, this is one you're gonna wanna pick up as well. There's a ton of these on the market as well. Um, I found them all to be pretty great. There, interestingly, is not a dock that has display link built in that's also Thunderbolt Thunderbolt that gives you those three extra docks. So um, you definitely have to buy this separately. Ideally, I would find one of these with this guy built in and that would be the perfect dock. So OWC, if you're listening, add a display, um, display link adapter to it that will make our lives complete. Um, these are the th best three on the market for you to choose to see which ones you want. Cheapest, middle line, and then the most expensive is the Kensington, but as I said, these two are virtually identical. I'll leave links in the description for all three of these docks, plus a link to the adapter that I'm using to run my extra monitor. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up, please. That, that really helps the channel out. And um, subscribe to the channel if you like what you're watching here. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.